The United Arab Emirates, a Middle Eastern country with some of the richest cities on the planet. This country is located between Oman and Saudi Arabia. The UAE's population, according to the UN, in 2016 is of 9.1 million. 2013, 1.4 million of residents were Emirati citizens, while 7.8 million were immigrants. Similar to the United States, the UAE's capital is not the biggest city in the country. The UAE's capital is Abu Dhabi, but the biggest and most popular city is Dubai, with a population of 1.4 million. Now, this country is one of the safest countries with a crime rate of 16.26, which is very low, and a very high safety of walking alone at night or at day. The main reason to explain the country's large sum of money is their exports. The base exports from the UAE are petrol and natural gases, which are some of the world's most expensive exports. The main imports are machinery, chemicals, and food. Most of the UAE's residents are immigrants. Research conducted in 2013 showed that 1.4 million people were actual Emirati citizens, while 7.4 were immigrants. Humans have practically destroyed most of the natural environment in the UAE, but there are still some natural areas. The UAE is trying to improve the environment by preserving natural resources and help in the development of ecotourism. The UAE has been making significant progress in its global environmental performance, rising from 152nd to 77th in the span of two years. The policies which make a country's environmental performance rise or drop are the preservation of forests, internal air quality, and access to water. There is a plan to set up six natural reserves in the Emirates, which are the Hatam Mountains Reserve, the Al Wush Desert Reserve, Al Marmon Desert Reserve, Al Mahar Reserve, Jebel Naswa Reserve, and Al Ghaf Reserve. The main regions in the United Arab Emirates are Dubai, Abu Dhabi, Sharjah, and Fujairah. Most oil fields are in Abu Dhabi and the Persian Gulf, while most gas fields are on the northeast. Examples of regions defined by landscape are East Coast, Al Batina Coast, and Al Jar Ghazbin. While living in a city like Dubai or Abu Dhabi might sound like a great idea, there are some significant downsides to it. One huge downside is that women are not treated as well as other countries like in Europe or North America. While living in Dubai or Abu Dhabi sounds like a great idea, and it is, everything comes with its downsides. Now, many may argue that the UAE is the best country in the Middle East for women to live in. There is actually evidence for that, as women are, women are allowed to drive and work if they have the correct permit. A significant difference can be found between the lives of Emirati women and foreign women in the UAE. For example, if a woman is living in the Emirates with a housewife visa, she is not allowed to work unless having an objection letter from their husband. Also, while setting up a bank account in some occasions, the husband is the only person allowed to create the PIN, even if it's the wife's bank account. Although husbands may not like be the nicest people to women, to their wives, according to women um, from the UAE, women are treated very respectfully by men. An example was that they will always hold the door for women and would ask them to go ahead of him. In more basic terms, women are treated with great respect, but are not allowed to make as many choices. Now, the climate in this area is very hot and dry. On average, there are only 9.38 centimeters of and 14 days of precipitation a year. In general, the United Arab Emirates is a great place for tourism. Two largest attractions here are the Formula One track in Abu Dhabi and the fastest roller coaster in the world, also in Abu Dhabi. Oh, yeah.